You got any last tips for just overall as you're running your presentation first time? Um, let's see here. Yeah, so this will be their first time. Are, are they dividing it up among themselves, like the different parts, or? Yep, they're going to okay. divide them into parts. So some of them are going to be focused on the icebreaker, some presentation. My, um, my biggest tip would be use your strengths. It, yeah. You know, that would be my, my biggest one is there's nine of you. You all have different strengths. You all have different abilities. Don't try to, you know, fit somebody into something that they're not really, like, fit for. Like, if somebody doesn't like to speak, this might not be the best time for them to overcome their fear of speaking, right? Like, there's other times, but, like, this time, it, you, you want your rock star speaker uh, there. But that person, maybe they love, they love organizing. So they're the person that goes out and they're looking for the icebreaker. They're putting it together. They're writing things down. Um, so use your guys' strengths. Like, realize, like, who's good at what and, uh, and then put them in a position to be successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, um, and, and I think it's important that every, like, basically make sure that everybody knows the flow of things. Um, that's one thing that's often overlooked is um, you have all these different pieces. You have the team builder, you have the icebreaker. Cracker for Abby, there you go. <laughs> you have all these different elements and sometimes they feel disconnected or they feel kind of like, okay, who's next? What's gonna be next? And that, and the reason you don't wanna do that is because it just becomes more of a distraction. So um, I, I can't, I think one of, the, one of the really important parts is transitions, is thinking through how you're gonna transition from one to the next. And if everybody knows their parts and everybody's confident of that, then, um, then it's not going to be a distraction to the students. It's just going to feel like you're. It's the, the whole hour and a half is just going to feel like one, like you said, story almost um, that has different parts to it. So make sure, and the way you do that is you just are communicating really well with each other. You know, hey, at this point, you are going to come up and uh, and, and start doing the icebreaker. You're going to, you know, just making sure you're communicating well because otherwise, if everybody's got their own part down but they haven't communicated how they're going to hand off one piece to the next person. Um, then it just becomes a distraction, and then you kind of lose a, a lot of momentum. Absolutely.